Hey guys, it's here as two and today I'm going to review the Sluban Lake of Lake Builder 12 pack mini vehicles. So this is set M38-B0591. So there's 12 of them in the set. So uh this one here is the stunt plane. Uh you got this police boat type thing, you got this uh red colored jet. I'm not quite sure what kind of jet it is, but yeah, so you also got uh, this helicopter, uh, this is some kind of uh, rescue helicopter, you got this uh, red mech, and you got this minesweeper type thing, and you got this submarine, you got uh, the green mech, you got this ex excavator, and you got this dump truck you got this uh, F1 car and you got the, this uh, tank so this is the side uh, all of them are the same uh, and so as uh, the bottom so this is the other side uh, it shows you the top part of the vehicle but um, sadly it's uh, all covered up by this sticker and it would take a lot of time to remove them but um, you know Here's the other batches. So these are the instructions uh, for the builds. So they are just slapped onto the back of the box. So these are ones for the ABC. You got the ones for the D, E, and F. This one is for G, H, I. And you got this one lastly for uh, J, K, L. But aside from that, that's uh, pretty much it for all of the boxes. So the first build here is the stunt plane. So uh, the plane itself here, you know, it it does use some uh, pretty interesting uh, building techniques, and you know, the it's connected with this jumper piece. You know, uh, it's on this modified uh, a brick piece, one by one brick piece, and yeah, I mean, it does look uh, pretty good and. Yeah, you, you do have the landing gears or skids at the bottom. You have the you have the kind of boosters parts and you got this red angle brick and you got the canopy piece and you got the pinky nose. But um yeah, I mean aside from that, uh, not much else to this uh plane. And the second build here is the police boat. Uh, so the front you have the this canopy piece. Uh, the top you got uh, the the siren, and you got two of these uh, scope pieces, which I guess they are probably searchlights, and uh, does have uh, these windows uh, on each side. And the back you got these turbine stuff thing or something, but I'm not. I'm not really sure but the bottom it's hollow but yeah it's just a very simple build um, yeah aside from that uh, nothing too special about the second build and this is the third build right here which is this kind of jet uh, or it could be a fighter jet um, I'm not 100% sure what it's supposed to be but yeah, uh, the front you have the this canopy piece. Uh, the middle you have this round white uh, towel piece, uh, and you have the wings at each side, uh, and you can kind of move them around. You can kind of close this, and uh, you got the bigger wings at the back. You got uh, the engine. But um, aside from that, nothing else to this uh, build. And the fourth build here is uh, this uh, rescue helicopter by the looks of it. Um, so the front, you got uh, this uh, tire uh, for the landing part and you got uh, the canopy piece which I believe it's um, a piece that LEGO doesn't make so that's definitely cool. Uh, and you got these side parts with these uh, binocular pieces and uh, they could be searchlights if this is a rescue helicopter. And uh, at the top, you got two of these uh, engine parts and you got uh, this main rudder at the top and kind of spin around it's just on a stud and uh, it does have a pretty long tail you got a stabilizer and there's no back uh, rudder um, which I'm not quite sure why but 
yeah, um, aside from that, that's uh, pretty much it for the rescue helicopter. And this build here is this uh, red mech, which um, you can turn uh, 360 degrees on the hips, and that's uh, definitely great. You got the you got the legs uh, which they move on a ball joint, and uh, you got two of them. Uh, and the uh, the hands here, you got uh, this. You got the right hand which has this um, mini gun tough thing, and you got uh, the left hand which has this hook, which is weird. I'm not quite sure why that's uh, there, but uh, you got the head part which has uh, yellow eyes and. Yeah, uh, aside from that, uh, nothing much else to add to this um, red colored Mac. And the sixth build here is uh, this Minesweeper tough thing. Um, I could be wrong, uh, but yeah, so the front you got this uh, scanning part with the this rod piece uh, and this uh, dish piece. You got the wheels, uh, it's on wheels, you can move it around very easily. Uh, and you got the cockpit part which is this uh, just this modified piece uh, you got this roof uh, right here you got this tubing and it connects to back here and it's uh, it's clipped on and you got the back scanning part which is kind of movable so that's just that but I'm not quite sure what this uh, hose type thing is so yeah but aside from that that's uh, pretty much it for the Minesweeper and the seventh build here is the submarine. So you got uh, this. You, you got this round part at the front, uh, and it looks just like all of the other submarines. And at the bottom, you have these uh, jumper pieces, and they kind of make up the design for the bottom. And yeah, uh, so this top, you, this top part, you got this kind of um, antenna type thing, or it could be a periscope. But a periscope, I believe a periscope doesn't move like this, so I'm not quite sure what what that's supposed to be. But yeah, uh, they just got uh, all the shaping of a submarine, right? And you have this uh, turbine at the back, which is just represented by this steering wheel type thing. But, uh, not much else to add to this submarine. And you got the second uh, mech here, which is the green one. So uh, it, it can also uh, move 300, 360 degrees on the hips. And it's also on bar joints. And it moves uh, pretty easily. Uh, so on the right hand, you have this maybe uh, a flamethrower type of thing and on the other hand you have the this shotgun type of thing and yeah uh, the torso design you have this uh, modified piece on there and you got a uh, red eyes for the mech and yeah so this is the back but aside from that nothing Nothing much else to the mech. The ninth build here is this uh, excavator, which uh, is on wheels, so you can move around pretty easily. And the uh, digger here is on the a turntable, so you can move around 360 degrees very freely. And you have uh, the ca the canopy piece, which is uh, this piece, which I believe uh, Lego doesn't make, so that's definitely great. And uh, this claw piece is on ball joints, you know, and you can kind of move it around, but it does uh, it does have kind of its uh, limited motion, I guess. But yeah, uh, you have this uh, round tile piece at the bottom here, but um, yeah, aside from that, not, not much else to this uh, ex excavator. And the tent built here is uh, this kind of um, crook. I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to be. Uh, it looks like a dumb crook to me, but um, I could be wrong because you know you have this very big uh, windscreen at the front. You got uh, this weird design with this round tile, and uh, you got these two weird kind of boosters type thing. Um, so yeah, I'm not quite sure what this is supposed to be. Uh, it could be some kind of uh, fantasy car or something. Uh, but you have the tail lights, and yeah, I mean, aside from that, there's uh, not much else for uh, this 
and a crook. And the eleven build here is this um, race car top thing. So um, I lost the front part, so that kind of sucks. But you got this uh, part going through the middle. You got uh, this. You got this kind of big, big engine in the middle. Um, and yeah, I mean it does look uh, pretty good. You got the wheels. It look it, it moves uh, pretty easily. And the back, you got this boiler, and you got your the exhaust. You got the tail lights, and yeah, I mean that's uh, pretty much it. Um, a pretty odd design for a uh, F1 car, though. But um, yeah, that's just that. And the final build here is the tank. So it is a uh, tan colored, and uh, it is on wheels, and the cannon is on a turntable, so you can move it around 360 degrees, and you. You can move it up and down as well but uh, the barrel is just a raw piece and the back you have two of these uh, empty studs and uh, there's also this bigger midi scale of a uh, version of this so yeah that's just that but aside from that there's a uh, that's uh, pretty much it for all of the builds so overall conclusion of this set here so how that think of it um, I definitely think that this set is, um, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, it does have some pretty nice builds, but um, some of them I don't even know what they are supposed to be. So, yeah, it, it does kind of suck. But if if you do have a uh, micro uh, micro city or micro scale city then I guess these will be uh, you can put these with uh, the, your city and yeah I mean um, they, they will look pretty good but I mean if you don't have anything else to go along with these builds um, I don't think they are that interesting um, I mean, un unless you want some very nice uh, parts, I mean, this set would uh, this set would be a great parts pack. But yeah, I mean, aside from that, I don't see any other reason to buy this set. Um, it does look cool uh, if you put them on display, but yeah, um, it it's not really for display, really. But um, yeah, they are pretty cool, and if if you do like these micro scale then yeah I definitely recommend you getting them um, but if you are not interested then you should just get the bigger scale ones or the midi scale ones so if you want to buy the set I'll put a buy link to AliExpress down in the description box below along with all my social media pages down in the description so if you like my channel make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here so that's for video thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you very soon